Hey guys, I'm TLC and welcome to my new segment called Kinky Gaming, where Big Daddy Gamer and I answer a few of your questions about relationships, sex and kink. If you have more questions, just send them in and uh, give me a thumbs up. All the links are in the description below. Enjoy! Okay, why are people coming around to LGBTQ rights so much easier than to minority rights that are still a problem? I wish it would be just as easy for racism to disappear. Oh, that's a complex one. You go first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me go first. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. I'll think about it. I really don't know. Well, Natalie's, Natalie's over here pretty. Why don't you get on the mic here? Come on. It's okay. Come on. Come on, dear. You can just, like, verbatim. <laughs> um, she thinks that, like, she thinks it's because um, the LGBTQ are more, like, defined and clear-cut, you know? For racism, racism is such a broad... You know, yeah, I can see that. Okay, so she's saying that um, since the the LGBTQ are so like clear cut and defined, that it's easier for us as um, I guess people to um, uh, go to their aid. Yeah, go to their aid because they're so they're so uh, defined and clear cut. But as as opposed to like racism where it's like uh um you know there's so many you know a white person can be racist against a black person and a black person can be racist against a uh, a mexican person and then a mexican can be racist and so on and so forth and and there's just so many different angles i guess that a racism can take as opposed to you know if you're if if you don't i don't know if you don't like if you're against gay people then you're against gay people and it's not it doesn't matter what race they are because they're gay right i mean yeah i can I see know. that um i think there's also a point to be made about at least you can like hide that you're gay or queer but you can't really hide that you're black or mexican at least most people can <laughs> um I don't, I don't want to go too much into the whole race thing since it's not what the, this Q&A is about. But I think there's one thing about LGBTQ kids that is a huge advantage that most, most black kids or otherwise minority kids don't have. That like being born gay is not something your parents or their kids can actually choose. So it just comes down to a statistical thing at the end of the day. So gay kids or queer kids can be born into awesome families that are pro-LGBTQ rights. But with the exact same statistical frequencies as their going to be born into conservative families that pri previously haven't thought about those rights or were opposed to them. So now, well, I know this will not be an advantage to the kid itself because it's going to make life so much harder for that kid, but it means that those people can't just ignore it. Conservative people who've had it very easy to point to a gay person before and call them a, like a sodomite or something like that. They will most likely, hopefully, start to question those thoughts when it when they're being confronted with it's your own kid now. You know, minorities don't don't have that. You don't have black children suddenly being born into rural white families, making them question their own racism. You can still point to a black person as an outsider. And during a time where like being gay used to be something that was looked down upon, if not straight out illegal, where many gay people for their own safety chose to hide that they're gay. Hating on gay people was was a xenophobia thing. It was something. It, meaning to hate something that is foreign or different now that more and more people are out like whether it's famous people or your own kids coming out earlier than they used to it's not as easy anymore and just 
suddenly blame it on, on those strange other people. Suddenly it's like the good old Christian grandmother was confronted with those conflicting thoughts in their head. And for her to keep voting against gay rights suddenly means that her vote might decide whether her grandkind will ever be allowed to get married or have kids or not be fired from their job if the boss finds out, or not served by a pharmacist who thinks it's against her religious belief to service that person. Like, actually, it's sad that it takes something that will, that will impact yourself for, some, for things to actually change, but I think it might have come down to that as well. And also, I, w- I want to say that like, while it's awesome that gay people are now allowed to get married in the States, like there's more that needs to be done. Like it's it's legal for a gay person to get married in each state, but it's also legal in many states for your boss to fire you as soon as he finds out the next day. Things like that still need to like be dealt with. There are trans issues. Like LGBTQ also includes trans issues and gender issues at large, and that's still so incredibly underrepresented and needs to be dealt with. Like for example, healthcare should cover sex reassignment surgeries, top and bottom, and hormones. All the kind of stuff needs to be like still done and it's not just about hey they can get married now that's like the first step of so many steps there's a bunch of other countries that need to follow suit and do the same thing like i think around 10 15 countries at most allow same-sex marriage and there are 200 countries in the world australia like one of the biggest english-speaking countries still doesn't allow same-sex marriage and we have to tell them that like civil union is not enough uh, South Africa is the only African country that uh, that allows it at the moment. So I'm not going. I'm not even going <laughs> going to go into what Russia and China are fucking up when it comes to LGBTQ rights. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, um, there are literally well, countries where you can still be stoned to death for it. So people are morons and assheads, and that kind of needs to change. I agree. Okay, uh, next one. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, should there be a straight Pride parade. Oh my god, is that seriously a question? <laughs> yep. Okay, can I go first on this one? Yes, go for it, yeah. No, no. Wait, 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 yes, there is a straight pride parade. It's called every single fucking parade of your life. Like the same way we don't need a, like, we don't need a white history month because every single month is white history month. Awareness campaigns like that don't need to be applied to majorities because they are meant to raise awareness for minority issues. We don't need more awareness for what is already the majority. Like, you can raise awareness for an issue without taking away from something else. Just because there's like a parade that celebrates being gay or queer or trans, that doesn't mean people are now less aware of straight people. And we need to compensate that with a straight pride parade. (laughs) I'm sorry, but I, I don't know. Like, it's the same reason I want to punch every single person who says Black Lives Matter is bullshit and that it should be all lives matter. Because nobody's saying that white lives don't matter. It's like, what? Okay, Tyler, let's imagine you're sitting with your kids, with Natalie and your kids, around the table. Natalie's passing around the jug of water. You pour some water into your cup, you pass it on to Haley, and so on. But when the jug gets to Zach, instead of letting him have water, he's being skipped and Natalie gets the jug again. So Zack is going to say, but but I want water, right? Right. Now imagine your only response would be to tell him, don't make this about you, Zack, everyone wants water, and then you just go ahead and eat your fucking dinner and drink your water. (laughs) Like, I mean, (laughs) he's raising the minority issue that he hasn't gotten the same opportunity as everyone else on the table, so he will say, but I matter too. Just like black people will say, black lives matter, and gay people will say, it's okay to be gay. And instead of fixing the issue, you're correcting them about how somehow take, that takes away from other people getting water on the table? Like, do all lives matter? Of course they do. That's exactly why a smaller repressed group of people has the right to stand up and remind everyone that they do matter. That in an age where everyone shunned and demonized gay people, for example, they were proud of being gay. Like, it's, I don't know. Oh, you made a lot of sense. <laughs> that was a really good analogy, too. I think a lot of people will... I mean, they're really going to not really relate. Well, maybe relate, but it's a good way to put it. Okay, so some people, like white people, get incredibly defensive about the term white privilege. Like, I'm 50% white. (laughs) I've heard people say that. Because, and, and they make a point, white people can have it bad too, you know? And that's 100% true. You can be white and live in a trail park or be unemployed or homeless. You can be white and have a really, really shitty life. But your life is never shitty because you're white. 
you can be straight and have a bad life, but you're not going to have a bad life because you're straight. You're not getting bullied because you're straight. But many people are being de literally discriminated against, bullied, beat up or killed because they're a minority, like being gay or black, Muslim or trans. And that's what white privilege is about or what straight privilege for that matter. So yeah, gay, gay pride is there for a reason. And we don't need to we don't need a straight pride parade. Just go to any other parade. Like, yes, there will be gay people at your straight pi pride parade, just like there are straight people at a gay a gay pride parade. And yeah, maybe one day when everyone is gay or black or whatever, and people being idiots will start bullying white or straight people because there's a different thing we might need it. But I don't think we need more reminders of how white and straight most people are. Like the whole world already caters to straight people. It's about time we start to give voice to minority issues. Well put, well said.